Hey, what's up, everybody? Man, I, I miss you guys, honestly. I know I upload every day, but still, like, just a little segment throughout the day where I'm not checking YouTube or whatever. Like, I just miss you guys so much, I'll be honest. But with all my emotions set aside, we're gonna be talking about the iPhone 7 and how it holds up in 2018. Now, in my opinion, I'm just gonna come straight out with it. The iPhone 7 is completely worthless right now. It's, it's almost a year and a half old. It only has the Apple A10 Fusion chip, only has a quad-core processor, and it only has Bluetooth 4.2. Like, what the heck? Like, now, I'm completely joking, guys. That's not how I it's like not even close that's just like how typically everyone probably thinks but let's just run right into it okay this is gonna be a quick one dude this is like i don't even know why this is even a question but the body is literally pretty familiar the major difference is the back compared to the 6s and 6 also the home button is not a physical one i have a 7 plus as a daily driver and i was pretty surprised by how different feeling the home buttons are because they are completely different one's a physical one that clicks down this one is a digital one and i actually prefer this one a lot i, I don't ever feel like i'm gonna break it because it's just a vibration in the back but i actually I like a lot. Turning on the phone, we now have iOS 11. It's going to be supported for a while. And iOS 11, in my opinion, I've been covering it extensively on this channel, and it's been getting better with every update for, for the most part. But even recently, within the last month, it's been getting really solid. Right now, I would rate it like 7 out of 10. It's not perfect. I don't think it's going to be perfect anytime soon, but it's definitely getting better. Now, performance is going to be solid on this thing. It has 2 gigabytes of RAM, which a lot of you guys might think it's small or whatever, but Apple's free framework for their software i'm telling you guys it does not need a lot of ram in order to, to have like a bunch of apps and multitasking and stuff like that now don't expect to never have a closed app in the background or anything like that but for the most part if you're just chilling out you know you're you're not trying to test it or anything you're closing out of apps whenever you, you're normally using it it'll be fine it also has a quad core processor clocked to 2.3 gigahertz which is very decent as well it's going to handle anything you throw at it you know and i think within ios 12 hopefully apparently apple's there's some huge developments going on with ios 12 all say whatever in a different video but i think ios 12 is going to be a lot better for the iphone 7 than ios 11 is right now and that kind of goes hand in hand with the gaming as well it's that is also very good um, this phone like i said is like a little bit over a year old it's not going to be that slow the iphone 8 i guess is a bit faster but without comparing it side by side it, it's very good you probably won't even be able to tell the difference to be honest the cameras are great as well i'm not going to sit here and talk about the cameras for five minutes almost the same thing as the iphone 8 the biggest difference i've seen is the slow-mo video um, basically can, the iphone 8 can shoot more frames per second at different video qualities than the iphone 7 can and for me that's not a big deal that's not a deciding factor at all if you're a major photographer who's like shooting a bunch of videos on their iphone and you need the latest and greatest then obviously get the iphone 8 but for me i have a dedicated camera for this so it's not a big deal for me at all battery life is also fairly good there's no wireless charging the iphone 8 has that and honestly that's a really cool feature but i don't think i'm willing to pay extra money for wireless charging yet i'll probably wait until the iphone 8 price go down a little bit more before I pick it up. Surprisingly enough, the iPhone 7 has a bigger battery than the iPhone 8, and the iPhone 7 Plus has a bigger battery than the iPhone 8 Plus as well. So it will last quite a long time, but depending on what type of iPhone 7 you get, whether it's used or what, and if it's extensively used, the battery might have deteriorated a little bit, but even then, I still think the iPhone 7 might have better battery life than the iPhone 8. Now, all in all, I told you this was a quick one. I'm surprised that this isn't even a question whether this phone is still worth it in 2018. Now, this is a controversial opinion, I understand, but I have to say it. Technology, in my opinion, moves fast. Don't get me wrong. It's moving very fast. You know, we have self-driving cars and stuff like that. But with phones, I, I don't think people need to upgrade every year. Now, I want to point it like this. If an iPhone 8 is a perfect 10 out of 10 phone right now, right? It's the best 